We are in the crossroads. We are facing two alternative futures within this ongoing decade. Uh, the other is we adapt to living in a much hotter world, at least plus uh, three degrees from the prehistoric, pre-industrial uh, era. Or we uh, will be able to phase out fossil fuels and mobilize huge amount of money in the magnitude of, of the 100 trillion, which is 100,000 billion euros within the next 10 years to tackle climate crisis and other sustainability challenges. And it's the first option is actually an existential crisis, an existential risk. Uh, the other option is transformative risk. And this is actually a question uh, which path we will choose. Either of these options will be reality in 2030. In a way, we have been very successful in socio-economic terms after the Second World War. Uh, unfortunately, this comes with a high price. Uh, our ecological footprint has been growing significantly and uh, in a way we are winning the war against our only life supporting system. I've been in this sustainability business for almost 30 years. In 1992, uh, Earth Summit in Rio, where the concept of sustainable development was, in a way, publicly introduced, uh, and all, basically all these sustainability challenges we are currently facing were already known. So it's, and in 1992, I graduated, all this was already known, and now we've been wasting almost three decades. And you know what happens when you're wasting time? Deadline is approaching, you are in a hurry. So we as a collective, we are now in a hurry uh, to tackle this crisis. Uh, it's, it, it's been estimated that it's, we need approximately a five-year, 5% five yearly re reduction of greenhouse gas emissions in order to keep uh, our existential risk uh, at a tolerable level. And by chance, this year, 2020, emissions, global emissions will decrease in this magnitude. It's been estimated that due to uh, corona pandemic, uh, global greenhouse gas emissions will reduce in the range of, of 4 to 7 percent, depending how the rest of the year now goes. And so we should have this level of shock or change in our uh, consumption patterns and production systems every year, year after year, uh, what we have experienced this year. So this is indicating the scale of our challenge. And the list continues. Uh, it's not only climate crisis. Uh, it's scientists consider biodiversity loss being even a more severe challenge for mankind. So we are actually facing a systemic crisis, uh, several interconnected problems. So the response has to be on the systems level as well. Uh, somehow we have to break the bad dependency of our previous unsustainable way of living and, and operating. So how then to achieve this system level transformation? I can give you four pointers. First, uh, solving these planetary challenges should be made as our primary goal. Not, primary goals should not be increase our cross national product or our primary goal should not be to maintain our social security system of welfare states. All these are important topics, but uh, the guiding principle, leading principle for decision making should be that we are now living in Anthropocene, the geological era of a human, and we should be
be able to reduce our impact on environment and reduce our use of natural resources. Simultaneously uh, making wise economic choices and improving social standards globally. Second, we must collaborate. This is not only a governmental business. This is not an issue only for uh, global or national uh, companies. This is not an issue of, of individual consumers or, or citizens. All levels of society need to act into the same direction, even though it, it's clearly apparent that there are also forces which think that this kind of thinking is not desirable. So there are competing social blocks and we have to find a way to collaborate even in this kind of, of polarizing situation. Thirdly, rethinking our skills is necessary. We have to learn new transformative skills, which are not, uh, uh, they are like not only cognitive skills, what we learn in formal education system. We should learn to an anticipate future. We should uh, understand more strategically what our choices or how they influence us and others, what are the feedback loops. So there is uh, a new learning, continuous learning, uh, which we have to somehow solve in so all sectors of society. And fourthly, we have to understand us as individuals much better than we do now. Uh, we are all nested in different roles. Uh, we are Okay, we ha have our professional life, we are studying, we have our family, friends, possibly kids, uh, parents. All this, we have different roles and uh, the expectations in these roles are different. And in some situations we will face true goal conflicts when we have to take this Anthropocene issue seriously and consider limits of our of uh, action and the consequences of our actions for future generations. So this will not be an easy task. Um, I can give you a long list of paradoxes. So it's, it's not only fossil fuels, it's our industrial scale meat eating, uh, it's pesticides and artificial fertilizers in agriculture, it's plastics, microplastics, uh, plastics in general. It's all the perverse subsidies society is providing for uh, industries which threaten our life supporting systems. Uh, believe it or not, it's also slavery. Uh, today we have more slaves in the world than uh, we used to have when the slave trade uh, from Africa to America was at its peak. Of course, we have more people now, but the absolute number of slaves is today higher. So we are facing a complicated task. Uh, we are still embracing status symbols like big houses, nice cars, holiday trips uh, overseas, all nice gadgets we can purchase with our, our excess uh, money. So and the list would continue. So. It's not easy to balance all this. We need an institutional level of change. It's our not only education system, not only political system, not un only our, our understanding on market economy. It's also media. It's, all, it's also our cultural norms which have to change. And all this change should, in a way, within these institutions happen uh, parallel. It's not enough to change only one subsystem, you have to change all. Uh, they should be, e so the change should be equally fast and maybe a utopian thought, it should remain democratic so all the voices will be heard. So let's
face the challenge and uh, see what we can do in, during the next 10 years.